we're gonna have to save that for later because that's not released yet okay i can't really get in here to um apparently we can parkour in this game okay, so we're just gonna stick a pin in that for right now so definitely come back for that how does this help I can already smell the moldy carpet and rotten french fries under the seat now. Holy cow, I need to turn down my volume some more. Uh. Ouch. Is that a boat on the roof? I hope no one gets car sick. Oh boy. Oh, bounce, jounce, oh, bump, scratch, scrape, bounce. Well, that will definitely clean up all the, all the rust off the bottom of the car. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rise Gaming YouTube channel, and on today's episode of Beam and G Drive, um, well, I was supposed to be uh, showing you guys a mod that I made, but there was an update last night, Beam and G.29, at least I think that's what it was. Well, they wound up releasing a new vehicle, and my mod wound up not getting released for whatever reason. So, nevertheless, the new vehicle is still pretty cool. I'll still kind of give you a peek at the vehicle I had released. So as you can see, we are at a used car lot here. Uh, I don't know if my game is still broke or not, or if I can get out and walk around, but we will take a look. And... Oh, holy crap, I can walk again. Okay, th they must have fixed that, because I couldn't walk for the longest time. So, starting up here, as you can see, this is a Moonhawk with a little bit of a sporty variant, but take a look at this engine. Something look a little bit different to you guys? Oh yeah, that's a supercharger on the original six-cylinder, but... We're going to have to save that for later, because that's not released yet. So, if you guys want to see more on that and the other variants I've made for it, hit that like and subscribe button, and leave a comment down below, and I will cover this in more detail when it is released on the repository. So, what we have here is the new vehicle. I actually don't even remember the name of it. <clears throat> i got to look at the back to, to tell you what it was. Um, let's see here. It is the Lansdale. Uh, I think it's Solidad, so like the same people that made the Wendover. Now, in all reality, this is a uh, like a Plymouth Voyager or a Dodge Caravan, which is really hilarious because they're my neighbor, like down the road, has this exact same van, same color, almost the same hubcaps. It is almost like spinning identical. So we have all sorts of different variants. We have everything from a 2.2 liter four cylinder to a 4.4 liter V8 in this. All-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. They have it all. They have drag versions. They have um, <clears throat> drifting versions, racing versions, rally versions. And all of this is part of the Gam Gambler 500 update, which I hadn't heard nothing about until right now because, well, I was AFK for a while, I'm sure, as you guys know. So what that means is, yeah, see, all these doors and stuff open on these. This is unbelievable. No one wanted this car, no one asked for this, or if they did, I don't know about it. But this game needed this, and here's why. This is what I love about BMNG Drive. It's full of regular, mediocre cars. And they have different variants, different body styles, different trim levels, different types. You're not stuck with one car, maybe a different set of wheels. And, you know, I, I mean, there's like different interior options. They have a, a delivery version, a police version, a drag version. Yeah, check that out. I don't... Okay, I can't really get in here to... Um, apparently we can parkour in this game. Man, I'm super glad to be able to walk around again, but... Man, look at this interior space. I feel like I'm on an episode of Motor Week testing this out, which we will be driving these around a little bit, and I will be testing some of the more crazier versions of this. Man, this is just unbelievable. I love this. Um, this is a mod. If you guys want to know more on this, let me know. I am waiting for them to update it before I start using it for a specific reason. But if you want to know that, you're going to have to wait. So we're just going to stick a pin in that for right now. So definitely come back for that. Here's a four-cylinder version. This one, I couldn't believe it when I pulled it up here. It's a stick shift. So let's take this puppy out for a ride and let's see what she's all about. <laughs> all right, uh, how do I get in here? Um... 
thought, didn't we push F next to the vehicle to get in it, or was it E, F? Come on, how do I get in this car? Let me in, please. How does this help? Okay, so here we are, finally in this van. Let's go ahead and get her fired up here. Ah, beautiful. It doesn't sound super powerful, but... Almost, it kind of sounds like a Subaru motor. It sounds like a van in here. It's just, it's got that van sound about it, you know? Oh, it's got some power. Like I said, I don't think we knew we needed this car because no one wanted it. But now we have it, and I think it's... I mean, obviously it's not going to go anywhere. Let's see if we can make my drift corner down here. Oh, yeah. This thing, for a top-heavy van, this thing actually handles pretty decent. And this isn't even the high-power version or even turbocharged. This is just a four-cylinder car. Sorry if I'm talking aloud, the, the game volume's up uh, up a good bit. I hope you guys can hear me over all this. Some Taurus, where's uh... I have AI traffic turned on, believe it or not. I don't know where any of the, oh wait, there's a car. Nope, never mind. it was a bush. Well, you know, I don't mind having the open road to myself. I am a great driver until there's other people on the road, then I, I don't know what happens. <clears throat> hey, we just not finally hit 100. not do what I wanted it to do. Well, as you can see, it took a fair amount of damage. Kind of realistic to what this would look like in real life. Huh. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and put this back where we found it. Now, oh, okay. Well, bam, here we are. So this is the V6 model. And they even have newer versions of this. I might, I might grab one while we're out and about here. Why does this turd feel less powerful than the four-cylinder? Oh, this one's all-wheel drive. That's what it is. Now this sounds like a minivan. I can already smell the moldy carpet and rotten french fries under the seat now. This is a road trip vehicle right here. Now, I know we had, like, a long drive challenge on, like, uh, on, uh, oh, what was it, uh, my garage. I wonder how far you could actually drive in this without, like, destroying it or breaking it or, which, here's the cool thing now. I think you can actually put fuel in your vehicles in this game now. Not that anyone ever makes it far enough or long enough to actually utilize that, but, wow, the wind noise is something else with this. Holy cow, I need to turn down my volume some more. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I... Man, see what happens when you take your eyes off the road for a second? But, hey. We're golden. We're still going. Oh, I think... Okay, yep. Yeah. See, that part wasn't dented. and I had to take care of it. Tell you what, man. That bumper kind of took that like a champ. It folded that little Audi. Or BMW, whatever the hell this thing's supposed to be. Oh, um, I broke a tire out. What? What did I just get in trouble for? There's no cop cars around here. What? Interesting. <clears throat> well, all right. So... You know what, we have to set up a police chase with this thing now. Problem is, I don't have any good, decent cop AIs 
to run after me. If you guys can think of one, let me know down in the comments below, because I need something that's really good with police chases. So let me go ahead and pick out a wild variant here. Actually, check out all the variants they have. It's pretty unbelievable, all, all of what they have. All right, so here we go. We have all sorts of crazy variants of this thing, um, of all sorts of flavors and varieties. We have a turbo tuner, super tuner, uh, a race van, <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, we have an overland, like off-roady looking thing. Mm, drag race version. Tuner special. Then you have all of your mix mosh of in-between crap. They even have a police car version, <laughs> which I don't even know where you would use that. Mall security. They have your demolition derby versions. Here's the Gambler 500 version. If you guys want to see that, let me know and I'll, I'll check it out sometime. Um, let's see here. Where's the rally one? I could have swore I just seen it. Is, is it up here, maybe? Okay. Whenever I was looking at this earlier, it was on a on a bigger screen. So things were spread out just a little bit. Oh, here it is. Damn, that's right in my face. So let's go ahead and replace this one with that one. Uh, oh, I didn't clutch. Oh, wow, okay. This thing kind of gets... The police are pursuing me. Where? What police? Alright, like I said, I need a better police chasing app. Because I have no idea where the police are at here. Um, the tie rod ends are a bit sensitive in this game, or on this vehicle. Oh, oh, I, e, I, uh, oof, I know. Oh God. Oh man. Well. All right. You know what? Hey, you know what? We're okay. We're all right. I got it. Okay. All right. I don't think I'm showing off this thing's true potential. Oh, wow, okay, so this is super laggy. I don't know which vehicle I'm in. Hopefully it's the van in the back. I'm going to check now. Here, ah, van panel. So I do have the uh, the van in the back. So I guess let's go ahead and get into this here. <clears throat> is that a boat on the roof? All right, here's the real... Oh, wow, okay. I know nothing about this race. Oh well, the light bar actually works. That's sick. All right, to help save some some frames per second, I'm only rocking like 15. <clears throat> so, what is the Gambler 500? Is that just like driving through the woods? I know like Pole Barn, or Pole Barn Garage did it, or something like that. He cut the roof off of it, Ugh, off of a Grand Marquis. Oh my God. Oh man, if it weren't for the cars in front of me, I would have no idea where I was going. I don't even know what car that is in front of me. Oh, it's a bolide. Or it was. Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to turn around here. What engine is in that? It doesn't sound healthy, whatever it is. Alright, so I am kicking some real tail here. Oh, yeah. What? Is that the finish line already? Man, that race was, like, really quick. I was hoping it'd be something, like, a little bit more, like endurance than that yahoo okay so i got first place with that i guess i'm just gonna continue here well actually i want to do a oh damn oh it took it like a champ it's fine um, I guess continue here. I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, so that was fun. I really enjoyed that. So now I need to find something else to, to do here. I mean, I'm right... No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Actually, wait. Where am I? Is it... Oh, really? Which island am I on? Like, is it going to show me? Are we on Jungle Rock Island? 
Ha, we are in Jungle Rock Island. Okay, so I see what's going on here. So let me check the races. If these scenarios are on the islands... Uh, Jungle Rumble, Rambler 500, bus mode. No, I don't want to do that. Um, pipes, wooden planks, garage to garage, hypermiling... So, all right, so I guess these different gambler races are on different places, I guess? I don't know. Jungle Rumble, Litter, Liberator, that kind of looks like Utah. Or no, that might be uh, Johnson Valley. Forest Cleanup, Desert Hauler. I like the, the races, like the Crankshaft Pass, Super Speed, Hoop to Egg, Small Island, Gambler 500. I don't know what this is, but I guess let's go ahead and check this out. As long as I can do it with the van, so I might have to switch vehicles. Alright, so now we are ready to rumble. Alright, embrace the force and race along the technical trails with your gambler machine. Stay ready and alert. This course can really shake you around. Bring it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rock. Rock. I think I already broke something. <laughs> gets car sick. Oh boy. Thank God for that red barrier. I would have missed that. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. This is okay. Oh boy. Alright. And the gearing in this thing sucks so bad. I'm sure the Grand Marshal is way faster than this. It's okay. She can take a bounce. Is this East Coast? Holy crap, it is East Coast. Was not expecting that. I thought we were somewhere else. Got a twee bit of an alignment issue. So left turn should be ideal, but not right. Oh, this thing is so bleeding slow. Oh, that's not fair at all. Alright. That's a foul. I get to restart. Alright, take two. I kind of can't see with that ridiculous boat on the roof. Alright, this is so much better. It's like a GoPro mount on like the hood of a of a race car or something. Oh boy. Okay. Not horrible. I wonder, like, if they actually post records of, like, other races and stuff. Oh, crap. No, 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 Okay. Did I do okay? Okay, good. No, it's tore up some sheet metal. How did I mess up that back right wheel again? That thing does not like to stay put, does it? Well, not only is it dragging now, uh, whatever. Okay. We can manage. Like I said, left turns are going to be great. Right turns, a little, little tricky. You know, it wouldn't hurt my... Oh, I broke the tie rod in. You know what? I'm going to pick a vehicle that can do this. Okay, now this car should definitely be up to the challenge. So I'm going to pick this one and see how much farther I can get than the van, if any further at all. So let's dive in here. Oh, wow, this one's a lot more bouncy. Really bouncy. Actually, this is kind of a cool view. Since I have trouble with the right side anyway. Ow. Alright, maybe that wasn't a good idea to do that, but I'm gonna just send it. <laughs> okay. This car is extremely bouncy. I couldn't actually imagine doing this with my car in real life. Actually, I would love to do this to my car in real life. I mean, if it was in a little bit better shape and I wasn't worried about the ball joints falling out of it, it would be extremely ideal. 
You know, see, I told you guys I'd be getting into more rally racing in this game. I just had to find the right opportunity. Oh boy, she's pissed now. <clears throat> Engine torque reduced. Well, this is faster than my second attempt at the van, so... As long as I'm not screwing around with, like, camera angles and stuff, I should be. Alright. Something does not sound happy. Okay, well this is also farther than I made it with the first van, so... The Caprice is actually winning, even though I nailed a tree toward the very beginning. And I'm only halfway there, and my, my rod bearings aren't even knocking yet, so that's a plus. Not happy. See, I think what makes this car so much better is that it's so much slower. And my engine's locked up. Great. Well, the van got two chances. That means I get two chances with my car. So, that means I get to go again. I'm just going to stay out here this time. As long as I don't bust my radiator, this thing should go all day long. See, this car is the perfect Gambler 500 vehicle because it's so versatile. Oh boy. Oh crap. Alright. You know, I can't help but to think. I should have took a picture of that car a lot. Or a thumbnail. But I just didn't think of it. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, okay. Alright, good. Uh, I still don't even know what, like, what like my record is. I guess those are my records on the right. I can't really tell. I feel like they changed the sound of the cars again, but I can't tell. There we go. See? St still haven't crashed. It's still mint. If anyone knows how to mod wheels, leave a comment down below, because I, I want to switch up the wheels on this, but they're not on any vanilla car or with this car. It's from another mod. And I really like the way they look. Well, this is where I blew up the engine last time, so still not even a scratch, and still better than the Gambler 500 van. <clears throat> now, I didn't even think I'd be driving this car in this video, but I am. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, yep, this is, alright, yeah, where we get into the ramping stuff is where this car is going to get hurt, because it's got a sensitive oil pan and an extreme, even more sensitive radiator, which is awfully funny, because they run these cars in demolition derbies, and they do just fine, you know, without these sorts of problems, okay, oh wow, okay, oh, oh boy, is this a bunch of switchbacks? I don't even remember all these trails being here. The Man, they must have reworked this map or something for this. Oh boy. Alright, oh, bounce, jounce, oh, bump, scratch, scrape, bounce. Well, that will definitely clean up all, the, all the rust off the bottom of the car. Oh my god, is that the finish line? Holy crap, it is. Hell yeah, brother! Oh boy. Oh no. See, she's still in one piece. Hell yeah. Alright, so 2 minutes 33 seconds. If any of you have done this, uh, leave your time down below. Let me know how good you did and what vehicle you did it in. Holy cow. You know, I built a model that looks almost just like this, except this two-tone purple. So, let me know what you think down below. Leave a comment, hit smack that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed to my channel already, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload videos. You know what? This van is actually not terrible. I think it's a great addition to the game. I wish they'd keep them coming. I really wish BMG Drive would add a more 80s sports car or maybe, I don't know, maybe like a, a Dodge flavor of like a muscle car kind. I don't know. Just something. Anything. Because, you know, we all love our muscle cars and sports cars. I mean, 
you know what? Even add like another little European car or something. Just a minivan? I don't know. I'm not complaining. But you know what? This game can do what a lot of other games can't. They can do more. They can do so much more. I mean, like, content-wise, they can just keep adding vehicles and adding vehicles all day long to the point where this stupid orange notification in the corner of my screen will never go away because I love my mods in this game. So, oh, wow, this thing is, like, stupid fast. I kind of want to take this thing around a racetrack, but if you guys want to see that, you're going to have to let me know down below and come back for another video to see more of this van, and if you guys want to see my own mod and the Camaro mod I had mentioned earlier in the video, leave a comment down below. I know I've said that 10 times, but guys, there's a lot of stuff here. I have over 2,500 hours in this game, and I am sure I can double that now uh, uh, that I'm YouTubing it, so have at it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Should have brought some marshmallows. <laughs>